Okay, here's another Apple product where, like most of the others, the specs aren't actually on the packaging itself. So, you pick one of these up from the shelf, and unfortunately, there are a couple of questions that come to mind, such as whether this supports PD, and also what voltage selection uh, choices does it support as an output, if it does indeed support PD, and if it doesn't, how many volts does it output in as default? So, Fear not, because I'm here to answer those questions. Now, as with most modern Apple products, the unit itself is really clean on the exterior. So there are no logos or tags or whatsoever. So in order to find out more information about the product itself, we have to lift the pins up. And here we see the tags are hidden right under the pins, which is quite a clever way of doing it until you realize that the tags themselves are actually too small to read with the naked eye so fortunately we have a camera here that we can zoom in a little with so here we can see at the bottom it says 20 watts which is the total power output but now let's drill down to a bit more information here so we can see from the third line of text that this is indeed a usb pd device and right below it it says this device outputs at 5 volts at 3 amps or 9 volts at 2 amps. Now this is a bit confusing because 9 times 2 only equals 18. So how do you get 20 watts out of this? Well, if we look further down, the last two lines of text says 5 volts at 3 amps or 9 volts at 2.22 amps. So that's how we get 20 volts. But I'm not sure why there are two sets of voltages listed here but if i do find out i'll list the reason in this video's description so let's test this out on the test bed so i've got this hooked up now to this usb-c to usb-c cable and at the end of it i've got this usb-c pd receiver board which i'll kind of demonstrate shortly and that is then connected to this dmm this digital multimeter which i'll set to DC mode because it defaults to AC every time it's turned on. So now I'm going to go ahead and power on the power supply and see how many volts of power is sent out by this power adapter. So I'm going to turn it on and straight away we can see that it's sending out 5 volts of power. So I'm going to go ahead and press this button here and what this does is it communicates using this microcontroller and it tells the power adapter to step up the voltage to the next level. So if I press this, the LED is going to change color and it's going to tell us that it's now in a different mode. So in, when the LED is green, it's requesting 9 volts of power from the uh, power adapter and indeed it does go up to 9 volts here. However, when I press the button again, it goes back down to 5 volts so red means 5 volts so it's back down to 5 volts so that tells us that this power adapter only has two voltage outputs 5 and 9 as per the label on the back so so that's it really now you know what power outputs this uh, power adapter can handle and you can decide whether to use it to power your gadgets or not